Today, we'll be looking at how to create presentations in our Ruby on Rails applications. To do that, we'll use the PPTX Gen JS JavaScript library. This library helps us create powerful presentations using JavaScript. So to begin, we first create our blank Rails application, which I have done here. And we call this presentation JS. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll simply use import maps to pin our JavaScript library. So we go ahead and we simply say import map pin and our JavaScript library, the PPTX gen. And you can see it pins many other things for us, but we'll only be interested in one of them. And let's go ahead and clear this and we'll generate a simple scaffold. We'll have an article with title of type string and content of type text. So now that we've done that, we'll run our migrations and then we'll head over to our routes. We set the root of our application to be articles index, and then we can save this here. So if we head over to Hello Controller, we can we can then import our JavaScript library here. If we look at import map .rb, you can see this is where we have all our pinned libraries here. And what we are interested in right now is this here, our PPTX Gen JS. This is the library that we will use. So we head back to here and we can say import, and we say PPTX Gen from our PPTX there. And then we can delete this here. And we can create a new instance of our library where we'll just simply generate a slide with some random information in it. And this is provided directly in the GitHub page here. So if we come here and we check here, you can see it gives us instructions of how we can do that. So if we had, we can simply just copy this. And we'll simply copy this here. And we can paste this in our connect method. So what this says here is we'll create a new instance of press. Or rather, we'll create a new instance of our library here. And we'll set its, its name to press. And then we'll also create a slide. Next, we can have our text box here, where we enter some text here. And then we state the, uh, the position of the text where we want it, the X and Y coordinates, as well as the font color. With that, we can then add this to our slide. And then we can write this to a document. So this will automatically write it to a presentation file for us. And then it will automatically download and save. So if we save this here and we head over to our index page, we can simply add our data controller and we'll say hello here. So every time we load up this page, we have connected it to our data controller or hello. So once it connects, this will always automatically run. So if we open up our console and we run rail serve and we head over to localhost 3000 and we can see if we check here fail to register controller hello okay we have a small typing error we have a small typing error so if we head back to import map here, we can see it says PPTX gen JS here. While in our hello controller, we did not specify the JS. So if we add the JS here, we save it and we run this once more. There we go. We see our presentation automatically downloaded. If we click this and we open it, you can see hello from PP, 
TX gen PPTX, let's just call it that. If we run this once more, you can see, okay. Yes, we have created a way that we can create our presentation. But the way it is right now, it's not very useful. We're not using it to create any useful data. So, for instance, if we had some articles here, it is, uh, it is some random data, and we just have a few of them. So, with our library, we could create a way we can use the JavaScript library to create presentations with the data that we have already. So let me comment this out and we head back to our root page. You can see we have this information here. So PPTX also allows us to create slideshows with tables. So if we had our information in the table, we will be able to do that yet. We'll be able to transform our information and place it into our, our presentation. So what we can do is we can simply add a, a table similar to what earlier versions of Rails used to have. So I'm just going to simply paste this here. It's a simple table. So this is our table right here. It has the title and it has the content. And we iterate through all our articles and we place the data there in our index page. So if I save this and I come back here, you can see we have a simple table here. It's not very pretty, so we'll add a little bit of CSS to make it look a little bit more attractive. So we head over to our application.css. And I'm simply just going to paste some simple CSS here. It just gives us a little bit of padding and background color. So if we come back here and we refresh it, and there we go, we have our table. So our next step is to take our table here and insert it into our slides, into our presentation. So we can head back here and if you look here in our index file, we gave our table an ID. This is useful. And we'll use it to identify our table in our JavaScript file. So our JavaScript library presents us with a way that we can actually convert tables into slides. So to do that, you can say, let's just uncomment everything here. So what we can do is we can say we can say press dot table to slides and then this method here it will take an ID here. And that is the ID that we specified here. So we can copy it. We can copy that. And then we can also give it our own options again. So we can set the X axis. We can set the Y axis. And we can also set the width. So if we save this, And then we come back here and we say our, we have our new slide here. There we go. We can see our first page here and we can see our second page here, which is this information that we had from our table. So we can see we're building a little bit more useful features here. But the way it is, this is not very organized. So let's, however, have a button that when we click it, it will generate the slide for us instead. Instead of having it automatically generate every time we load up the page. So to do that, 
we'll simply create a new method. We'll call it gener generates table. But before we do that, let's do a little bit of refactoring. Instead of saying let's press be equal to new dot new pptx, we'll say let this dot press, and then we just simply change this here. And everything should still run as it was before. Okay, so now what we can do is we can move this here. So now we have this generate table. So what we can do now is we can create a button on our index page. So if we click on it, it will generate the presentation for us. So we can head over to our index page and then we can simply add a button here. Say button generates presentation. Let me close this. So we can give this button a data action. And when we click on it, we want to trigger hello generate table. So we save that. We come back here and we save this. So if we refresh now, you can see that no presentation was generated for us. Let me click on generate presentation. There we go. Our presentation is now available. So this is a basic introduction of how to use this library to create presentations, how to integrate it in Ruby on Rails.